solubility product constant or KSP in this video I will explain how to write the expression for solubility product constant and also we're going to practice how to calculate the solubility product constant and how to calculate the concentration of some ions using the solubility product constant for better understanding it's better to watch the video till the end if you have any questions please write them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible Before we practice how to write the expression for solubility product constant, let me explain what do you mean by the word solubility. Solubility is the maximum amount of a solute that can dissolve in a solvent at a given temperature. Let me give an example. The solubility for calcium fluoride in water is going to be equal to 0.00034 mole per liter at 25 degrees Celsius, which means that if we add 0.0004 moles of calcium fluoride to 1 liter of water at 25 degrees Celsius, not all of them will dissolve. There will be a certain amount which is equal to 0.00006 moles of calcium fluoride will settle down or will precipitate at the bottom of the beaker. In fact, this is a case of chemical equilibrium where some of the solid calcium fluoride which is at the bottom will dissociate to form calcium ions and fluoride ions and also some of the calcium ions and the fluoride ions which are found in the solution which are already dissociated will combine again and will form solid calcium fluoride so it will be like an equilibrium the calcium fluoride solid at the bottom will dissociate and some of the ions will combine again to form solid now if you want to write the chemical equation for this equilibrium it's going to be as follows Calcium fluoride solid is going to dissociate into calcium ions and fluoride ions. Now, if you want to write the constant of equilibrium for this reversible chemical reaction, we learned earlier how to write the constant of equilibrium. It's going to be equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants, and you have to neglect the solid and the liquid substances. By the way, I will keep a link in the description box to show you how to write the constant of equilibrium. Here we are dealing with a slightly soluble salt which is calcium fluoride and by the way all the salts that we are going to deal with in this lesson are slightly soluble salts. So when we are dealing with a slightly soluble salt we are going to replace the constant of equilibrium by something called KSP or solubility product constant which in this case is going to be equal to the concentration of calcium ions multiplied by the concentration of fluoride ions squared. In this video, I will practice four different types of questions that can be asked on solubility product constant. The first one, which is the easiest, which is how to find the KSP from the concentration of the ions in a solution. Let's see this question. the KSP value for calcium phosphate at a certain temperature if the concentrations are 3.4 times 10 to the power negative 7 molar for calcium ions and 2.3 times 10 to the power negative 7 molar for phosphate ions. To solve this question we have to start by writing a balanced chemical equation. Don't forget this. It's the most important part is to write the balanced chemical equation. Why? Because we need the coefficients to use them as powers when you write the expression for solubility product constant. So here, the balanced chemical equation is going to be as follows. Calcium phosphate solid is going to dissociate into three calcium ions plus two phosphate ions. Solubility product constant, KSP, is going to be as follows. Concentration of calcium ions cubed multiplied by concentration of phosphate ions squared. We simply replace the concentrations by their values and we multiply them to get the answer at the end 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 33. By the way, KSP is unitless. As you noticed, this question is very easy, it's a straightforward. We just replaced the concentrations by their values and we get the KSP. Now, what if you want to calculate the solubility product constant from the solubility? Like in this question, a saturated solution of mercury iodide at 25 degrees Celsius had a solubility of 1.9 to 
transient power negative 10 molar calculate the solubility product constant for mercury iodide as you know we have to start by writing the balanced chemical equation as follows mercury iodide solid is going to dissociate into mercury ions plus two iodide ions you have to keep something in your mind that here we have the solubility which is the amount of mercury iodide dissolved according to the balanced chemical equation the amount of mercury ions at equilibrium is going to be equal to the amount of mercury iodide dissolved which is going to be equal to s and the amount of iodide ions at equilibrium is going to be equal to 2s s at the solubility is 1.9 times 10 to the power negative 10 if you want to replace the values in the solubility product constant solubility product constant ksp is going to be equal to concentration of mercury multiplied by the concentration of iodide squared so i'm going to put s instead of concentration of mercury and 2s instead of concentration of iodide if we do the math then ksp is going to be equal to 4s cubed replace s by its value and then we're going to end up with ksp is equal to 2.7 times 10 to the power negative 29 now what if the solubility product constant is given ksp and they ask us about the solubility or the concentration of the ions like in the following example ksp of calcium fluoride is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 10 at 25 degrees celsius calculate the solubility of calcium fluoride we have to start by writing the balanced chemical equation calcium fluoride solid will dissociate into calcium ions and two fluoride ions also at equilibrium the concentration of calcium ions is going to be s and the concentration of fluoride ions is going to be 2s so here we're going to write ksp equal to concentration of calcium ions multiplied by concentration of fluoride ions squared we replace calcium ions by s and fluoride ions by 2s and we replace ksp by its value which is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 10 is going to be equal to 4s cubed if we do the math then we're going to find that solubility is equal to 3.4 times 10 to the power negative 4 molar here the solubility is this amount if you want to calculate the concentration of calcium ions it's going to be equal to the solubility which is 3.4 times 10 to the power negative 4 but if i'm asking about the concentration of fluoride ions it's going to be double the solubility and it's going to be equal to 6.8 times 10 to the power negative 4. so in this case if we have the solubility product constant ksp we easily can find the solubility or we can find the concentration of the ions now let's have our last exercise where the ksp and the concentration of one of the ions of the products are given as in the following exercise the ksp of magnesium carbonate is 6.8 times 10 to power negative 6 calculate the solubility of this salt in a solution containing 0.02 molar carbonate ions now does it affect if we are dissolving a certain salt in a solution and that solution contains one of the ions of that salt does it affect the solubility and the answer is yes and this i will explain it later in details in a video talking about the chatelier principle if we go back to this exercise we have to start by writing the balanced chemical equation which is magnesium carbonate solid will dissociate to give magnesium ions and carbonate ions ksp is equal to concentration of magnesium ions multiplied by concentration of carbonate ions replace the ksp by its value which is 6.8 times the power negative 6 and replace magnesium ions by s which is the solubility and replace carbonate ions by their value which is 0.02 we do the math and then the solubility is going to be equal to 3.4 times 10 to the power negative 4 which is by the way it's equal to the concentration of magnesium ions at equilibrium 
As you could see, these are the four types of questions that you may face while solving solubility product constant exercises. If you have any question that we couldn't cover in this video, please write it for me in the comment section. And if you find my videos are useful, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified and watch the new videos. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and write me a comment. Thank you.